Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube posting every Friday. The movie that I'm watching today is one that I've actually never even heard of before up until recently. People have mentioned it here and there as I've done reactions on this channel, but more so now that I've asked for more suggestions for Christmas movies than ever before. The movie that I'm watching for this video is The Shop Around the Corner from 1940. Since I've only relatively recently heard of this movie, I have no idea what it's about. But of course, with every movie that I watch, I am excited to watch, so let's get on into it. But of course, if you're here watching right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And to those of you over on Patreon, I also appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos, the access to the polls, and access to other reactions that aren't yet cut for YouTube. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls, which are ran every single Friday, and that is $2 a month for that. I also have a seven day free trial over on Patreon if you want to take a crack at watching these full reaction videos. So yeah, don't know what I'm getting into with this movie. I just know that a lot of people enjoy it and I'm watching it now. So <laughs> with that, really do hope you guys like this reaction and I shall see you on either side. Enjoy. This is the story of Matt. Oh God. Oh God. Master, master check. Master check. Okay. Uh, and company of Mr. <laughs> and the people who work for him <laughs> is around the corner from blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hungry. Hungry. I got that point. How quickly I mess up. Good Lord. I can't read. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Good morning. Happy you go over to the drugstore and get me a bicarbonate soda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Want to hear a joke? No. no. Uh, wow. <laughs> Had quite a time last night. And we don't want to hear the poor girl's name. Tell me, Clark. Uh, <laughs> almost a dinner last night. Oh, yes. Tell me, is it true Mrs. Molichuk had her face lifted? Well, how can I know that? Uh, well, uh, how old did she look to you last night? Well, 40. She had her face lifted. Huh, she had her face lifted. Oh! <laughs> did you hear what he said? Could just, I want you to hear that. Did I make any derogatory remark about the goose liver? No, no, no. No, I no. no. I that I had too much goose liver. Not one word more and not one word less. No, no. Why did I say I guess these uh, people they're talking about that I can't pronounce the name, their last name of, uh, maybe a little stingy in the particular. My heart was trembling as I walked into the post office, and there you were lying in box 237. I took you out of your envelope and read you, oh, my dear friend. What is all this? I was looking through the ads in the Sunday paper, and I got on the wrong page, and I came across this ad. Modern girl wishes to correspond on cultural subjects anonymously with intelligent, sympathetic young men. Interesting. How long has it been going on? Well, we've exchanged four letters. Four letters. And she's no ordinary girl, is it? Wow. Well, pen pal. Yeah, I can buy two dozen of these cigarette boxes at Miklos Brothers. What do you think of it? I think it's great. Oh. No, Mr. Monticelli, it's uh, not for us. But you haven't listened to it. It plays O.G. Chornia. Even if it played Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, I'd still say no. No, I just don't like the idea. Look here, what do you think of this? Now, I want your honest opinion. Don't let me influence you. All oh, I want they're is your gonna honest opinion. Let, yeah. Mm. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think it'll make music lovers out of cigarette smokers and cigarette smokers out of music lovers. I think yeah. it's sensational. I still Kiss think asses. it's uh, inadvisable. Well, let's say that a man smokes 20 cigarettes a day. That means that 20 times a day he has to open this box and 20 times a day he has to listen he to... He hears the same the song. Yep, yep. Yeah. Can I call you back in about five minutes? I, I'd like a little more time to think about it. No, 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 no. It's not the price. It's just that I, I'm not quite sure about the whole idea. I, hmm. Yes. Good morning, madam. Good morning. It's a lovely bag, don't you think? Uh, I really didn't come in to buy a bag. To tell you the truth, I really didn't come in to buy anything. That's perfectly all right. Might be the pen pal. Imagine you'll be doing a big business. Oh, well, I have no doubt. I'll probably have such a rush, you won't be able to take care of the customer. Well, in that mm. case, maybe you should take on some extra help. Oh, he probably would. Then maybe you could use me. I'm looking for a job. Well, I, I'd like to, but there's no opening. But you just told me you need some extra people because of the yeah. rush. How much is that belt in the window? The one that says two ninety five. Two ninety five. Oh no. <laughs> All right. 
I've been here for nine years, and I know Mr. Matochek inside out. I can oh. predict his every reaction. So you know every reaction of mine, huh? You mm. know me inside out. You're not only a genius, you're a mind reader. No, Mr. Matochek. Never mind. I'm looking for a job. Oh, no, no, that's impossible. It's, it's out of the question. Mr. No, I, 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 no time, no time. I'm very busy. Wow, and just like that. I'm very sorry. I'm afraid you're just wasting your time. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe after inventory. We need anybody. You'll be the first one. Uh, my name is Clara Novak, Dino Street 42. Kralik, why did you put me in that situation in front of the whole shop? Well, I'm very well, sorry, sir, but it was not my fault. Well, yeah, whose really... fault was it, mine? Well... Mine? Yes. What's the matter with you, Kralik? You know how much I value your judgment, and on mm. every occasion you contradict me. Whatever I say, you say no. Sir, from now on, I say yes. That was a nice party last night, huh? Yes, Mr. Matichek. Huh. That little poem that you wrote in Mrs. Matichek's guest book. Mrs. Matichek liked it very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Matichek thinks a lot of you. <laughs> and, you know, I think a lot of Mrs. Matichek. <laughs> oh. Tell me, would you buy a box Oh, boy, like this? here we go. I, I want your opinion, your honest opinion. Now, don't let me influence you. I just... He keeps running away whenever he says honest opinion. I think it's romantic. How much are you selling it for? Four twenty-five. That's a bargain. That's a real bargain. <laughs> oh, keyword. Bargain. Good morning, madame. It's a lovely box, isn't it? Ooh, Look at her go! She's trying to box, show it? off, I guess. We, 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 yes, madame, I a candy box. And I should say a very unusual one. Oh, yes, madame, that's Ochichornia. It's a very popular classic. Oh, no, that would never do. Where do people get ideas like that? Can you imagine? Every time you take a piece of candy, you have to listen to that song? No, I couldn't buy a thing like that. It's really too silly. No. <laughs> yep, his face. There's no denying that we all have a weakness for candy. This little box makes you candy conscious. That's what Matichek and Company designed it for. Wow. Every time you open it, this tinkling little song is a message to you. Too much candy. Now be careful. How much is it? Five fifty. Reduced from six ninety five. It's a real bargain. Oh my goodness. I'll take it. Thank you, madam. Wow. Well, what do you say now? What a saleswoman. Don't let me influence you. I want your opinion. Your honest opinion. Go back upstairs. Yep. All right. <laughs> Every time. I guess he'll actually give it to him <laughs> if he's like near him. So, looks like she got the job then. <laughs> uh, I noticed that you wore a yellow blouse with light green dots yesterday. No, Mr. Kralik. As usual, you were mistaken. It was a green blouse with light yellow dots. And everybody else thought it very becoming. Please leave my blouse alone. It's none of your business. Well, I'm sorry. Mr. Matichek seems to think it is my business. Listen, I sold as much good yesterday as anybody else in the shop. 95 Pango 50 isn't bad for a rainy Monday three weeks before Christmas. Did you tell that to Mr. Matichek? Yes, I did. And what did he say? He said, tell him not to come on that blouse anymore. Tell him I won't. I oh. will. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know that girl I was corresponding with? Oh, yes, about the cultural subjects. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, after a while, we got on the subject of love. I feel like she's... Hmm. I feel like she's going to end up being the pen pal. I'm meeting her tonight. 8.30 in a cafe. Yeah, my good fellow. Keep the change. Send you both through college. Thank you, sir. Uh, well? This window looks terrible. There oh. isn't a shop on the street that doesn't look better than this. Well, we'll stay tonight after closing hours and redecorate. Uh, I have to get out of some way. Oh, Clary, I haven't got a chance. I have a very important engagement tonight at 8.30. I have to go home first. You see, I've got change. And there it is. There you go. Alona, tell me, did you notice the blouse I wore yesterday? The green one? With the light yellow dot? Yes. Oh, I thought it was simply stunning. Did you really? Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> you see, I'm planning to wear it tonight. Oh, uh, mm, uh-oh. You're planning to wear it tonight? Oh, jeez. This is going to be something else. What? A thousand penga? No, no, no. I'm not complaining. It's quite a bit of money. Yeah, well, all right. All right. I'll send it over as soon as possible. Hmm. Yeah. Goodbye. Interesting. Mr. Matochek, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Well, is it important? Uh, well, it's important to me. Is it important to Matochek and company? Not exactly, sir. Well, then I'm sorry. I'm busy. You'll have to see me later. Thanks. I'm not going to stand for this much longer. Well, maybe he has some trouble with his wife. Is that uh, true, Kira? Is he... Think trouble with this one? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's none of my business. But I'm talking to Carly. What do you want? I don't know anything. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> Just 
Mr. Crowley, you think I have to work tonight, too? After all, I'm a child. No, you don't have to stay. <laughs> you mean it? Yeah, I'll straighten it out, Mr. Modich. Thanks, Mr. Crowley. May I help you, Mr. Crowley? No, thank you. Oh, no trouble at all. No matter what anybody else says against you, I think you're a gentleman. Okay. Uh, Try to be. And oh, Mr. Crowley, you have no idea what that means to a working girl. What a girl goes through in some shops. When you say, Miss Nova, let's go into the stock room and put some bags on the shelf. Well, you really want to put some bags on the shelf. And that's my idea of a gentleman. Hmm. So what have you experienced? Uh. Would it be possible? Do you think you could spare me tonight? And then maybe Mr. Matichek would let me off. Oh, so that's why I'm a gentleman. That's why you've learned so much from me all of a sudden. Oh, uh, boy. Crowley. You want to get the night off? I have to, Mr. Crowley. Well, you're out of luck. You know, for the last six months, you've done everything you could to antagonize me, and now you have nerve enough... Wow, what a time skip. I didn't anticipate that b- it being six months already. Mr. Crowley, I don't like you. <laughs> well, you like um the other side of him that you don't know about. <laughs> Do you think you could spare me tonight? Can you get along without Miss Novak tonight? I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Oh, you want to go too? Well, yes, sir. I'd appreciate it very much. What is this? Does everybody want to leave here? Oh, goodness. Once a year, I ask you to stay here. I'm sorry, sir. If I'd only known yesterday. Oh, I see. You want a special invitation. Well, next time I'll send you an engraved announcement. Mr. Matuchek. That's not what he meant. Why are you being such a hard ass? And you have the nerve, Mr. Kralik. The oldest employee in the place who should set an example. Mr. Matuchek, you spoke like this to me yesterday. What did I do yesterday? The whole week you've treated me like this. And without any reason. Maybe I have more reason than you think. What are you getting at? Mm, Hmm, think of something. Hmm. Perhaps we'd better call it a day. Uh, Just put a thousand penguin in an envelope and have Peppy take it over to Mrs. Matuchek right away. Peppy is out. He has quite a few packages to deliver. He won't be back until after lunch. Mr. Crowley and I always have lunch at Faragos. It's only a few blocks from your home, Mr. Matuchek. We can deliver it. No, thank you, Mr. Crowley. Wow. Mr. Vardash, I don't like to break in on your lunch hour. That's perfectly all right. It'll be a pleasure. Yeah, I'm really wondering what he has against him. I'm, like, trying to think of things and like i have one thing in mind but like it's kind of outlandish so <laughs> we'll see if i'm right but <laughs> like the only thing that i think of is like does he think that he's like his wife is cheating on him with mr Crowley? like mr. I, you, know, Crowley, you know what i mean will you come to my office i'd like to talk to you yes because he made that sort of weird commentary in their conversation in the office like before that's the only thing i can think of i really believe that you'd be happier somewhere else uh let me see you're naturally entitled to a month's pay that's 200 panga god a month's pay is 200 and he gave his wife a thousand huh we have found him reliable efficient resourceful we can recommend him without reserve he carries with him our best wishes for success in his future career well that's nice but he was so angry at him, and then he was so calm when letting him go. Like, what happened? What's going on? Well, I wanted to get off tonight. Uh, we'll get off, all right. He will be missed. <laughs> Miss Novak, if I had anything to do with your not getting the evening off, I'm sorry. I... If it's my fault in any way that you got into this trouble, please believe me, I'm sorry, too. That's all right. Oh, boy. Now what? Well, how soon can you come over here? Yeah, well, come right away. I'll, right. I'll be waiting here. Yeah. yeah, something shifty's going on with him or something like off or with him or his wife or something. Like, I don't know. You may all go home. We'll finish the windows tomorrow. Oh, okay. Maybe he owes like big money or something. I don't know. Oh, goodbye. Well, he's not going to go tonight, so she's going to get stood up, I guess. Well, technically, yes. The last time I had the pleasure to be at your apartment was several months ago when you sent me after your briefcase, you remember? Mm. Today I had a chance to get a glimpse of your new dining room set. Oh, it's exquisite, really. I can imagine what it'll look like with all the lights on at a dinner party. He's total (laughs) kiss-ass. He reminds me of Gil Chesterton from Frasier. <laughs> Good evening. 
Report on Mrs. Emma Maracek. On December 6th, Mrs. Maracek left her residence on Bayless Street. There, Mrs. Maracek was joined by a young man. Well, Mr. Maracek, your suspicion was right. It was one of your employees. Both our oh. operators identified him later as Mr. Varish. Oh. Uh. Varish? Yes. Wow. Uh, Ferenc Varish. You fired the wrong dude. If you will send me your bill, I'll take care of it immediately. Oh, thank you, Mr. Maracek. Private investigator. Wow. Good night. So I guess I technically was right with my theory. He thinks that his wife was cheating on him with, uh, God, why I keep her names? Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm so bad with names sometimes. The man who just got fired. <laughs> Wrongfully, clearly. Isn't that too bad? Yes, I'll give a good scolding to the little rascal. Oh, Have my a good God. time, Mrs. Matichek. Good night. He sounds like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Oh boy, like, you know? <laughs> Mr. Matichek! Don't do that, Mr. Matichek! Go away, go away! Mr. Matichek! Oh my god. Damn! Woo! Good thing he came in! Wow! Just do me a favor and deliver my note. All right. He's making him be his undercover. <laughs> I think I see you. Yeah. Right here under the window. She has a little of the coloring of... of Clara. Uh -oh. Clara? Miss Novak in the shop? Well, this is a fine time to talk about Miss Novak. Why? Uh, if you don't like well. Miss Novak, I can tell you right now you won't like that girl. Why? Because it is Miss Novak. <laughs> and... panic. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? Let that poor girl wait? Well, why shouldn't Miss Novak wait for her? For the last six months, she fought with me every day. But still, she wrote those letters. My right, friend. right. You know, I would still give it a crack. Maybe you guys can start over. You know, you don't know each other personally, only at work. And through the letters, too, but... Come on, don't leave her hanging. It's the right thing to do. Thank you. <laughs> well, I see you're reading tall stories out of Crenna. Yes, do you mind? No, no. I didn't know you went in for high literature. There are many things you don't know about me, Mr. Krolik. Oh, boy. You're making this worse by dragging it on like this. You know, people seldom go to the trouble of scratching the surface of things to find the inner truth. Well, I really wouldn't care to scratch your surface, Mr. Krolik, because I Damn. know exactly what I'd find. Look, if your party doesn't show up, would I... Would uh, don't I... worry about that. My party will show up, so you don't have to entertain me. Hmm... Come on, just say it. Come on, just tell her. Are you deliberately trying to spoil my evening? Why do you want to do me harm? Why do you hate me so? I don't hate you. Oh, I suppose <laughs> you love me. No, oh, why should I? Uh, what well, have you done to make me love you? Well, I don't want you to love me. <laughs> I don't. Mm, but you will in about half an hour. <laughs> Movie time, that is. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity, Miss Novak, to inform you that I don't walk like a duck and I'm not bowling. Well, I have mm. information to the contrary. If you think I'm bow legged, come on out on the sidewalk and I'll pull up my trousers. Oh. How would you like it if I started making remarks about how red your hands are? That's just exactly what you did. Oh, no, not until after you started making fun of my legs. My hands aren't red at all. Well, has a point. She's being definitely more mean to him, I feel, than he is to her. You're cold and snippy like an old maid, and you're going to have a tough time getting a man to fall in love with you. Damn. I'm an old maid. So, no man could fall in love with me. Why, I could show you letters that would open your eyes. No, I guess not. You probably wouldn't understand what's in them. They're written by a type of men. Well, funny you should say. <laughs> I have to laugh when I think of you calling me an old maid. You, you little insignificant clerk. Ooh, damn. It's just fire and rail. <laughs> yeah, that one, that got to him a little bit. Yeah, let's go back to this. The fact that he just attempted to kill himself. Well, Doctor, I would say it's a nervous breakdown. What do you think? It appears to be an acute epileptoid manifestation and a panphobic melancholiac with some indication of a neurasthenia cordis. Is that more expensive than a nervous breakdown? Uh, pardon me, Mr. Cadona. English? Hello, Mr. Krolik. Well, how is it? I want to thank you for your splendid reaction to my telephone call. I knew you wouldn't fail us. Was it serious? Yeah, because he doesn't know that he was fired, so he had to call someone who was going to answer, and that was the right person to call. <laughs> my wife having secret rendezvous with one of my employees. 
How could you suspect me, sir? Well, you see, you were the only one of my employees who had been to my home. And he sent my wife. That you know of. Here are the keys to my to check and company. Woo! What shall I do about Mr. Vardash? Well, I, I want him dismissed as quietly as possible. No, no scandal. Don't, don't even mention the subject to him. Wow. All right. Still nothing but an errand boy at Mata Chicken Company. <laughs> oh, in other words, you'd like to be a clerk, huh? Well, when I get feeling better. Well, then you might change your mind. Besides, who knows how long you'll have to stay here. Well, you're a pretty sick man, Mr. Matichek. This isn't just an ordinary breakdown. All right, you're a clerk. Go on now. Get out oh of here. Oh, my God. I think I speak for all of us when I say happiest congratulations. Yeah, happiest congratulations. You're fired. <laughs> I want you to take all the big black suitcases from the top shelf and move them to the bottom shelf and all the big brown suitcases from the bottom shelf and move them to the top shelf. But, Crowley, you don't want to do it? I didn't say anything like that. Of course I do. <laughs> I'm a good soldier. Oh, I do it right away. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at him. He is ready to be a clerk. <laughs> if it hadn't been for me, this place would be closed on account of suicide, and you'd all be out of a job. Okay. You definitely didn't need to. Okay. All right. Hello, Mrs. Matichek. Oh, I didn't bring you that bottle of perfume. Well, you're never going to get it. What do you think of that? Your perfume days are over, Mrs. M. Yes, this is Peppy speaking. Oh, oh you want to speak to God. Mr. Marchek? That's too bad. You wouldn't like to speak by any chance to Mr. Vardish? <laughs> oh, Peppy, no! Draw your own conclusions. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you're calling for Miss Novak. Well, I hope it's nothing serious. All right, now tell her not to worry. Unless she's absolutely all right, tell her not to come today. Really, Craig, that's a, that's a wonderful attitude. I have nothing against Miss Novak on the country. I think she's a very, very nice girl. Only sometimes, you know, she went a little bit too far, don't you All think? right, now just we don't want to have another word about Miss Novak. She's a fine girl, and she's working very hard, and she's a good sales girl, and you shut up. You, you misunderstand me. I, I didn't mean any offense. As a matter of fact, I was agreeing with you. I, I don't want you to agree with me. You're fired. Oh, so I'm You're fired. fired. Get out of here, here. you two-faced, oh. double-crossing two-timer. Now go on, get out of here. Folks? Folks? Oh, Folks? God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was not I want you to it. good to, to do. You called me a double-crossing two-timer. What right have you got to fire me anyway? Look, Look he's smiling in the back. No. Look at him. What do you think of that? Mr. Matichek doesn't know anything about this. I'm the manager and you don't work here anymore. Prove it to me in black and white. Oh, you want it in black and white. All yes. right, you're going to get it in black and blue. Oh! This is so not good. Oh my God, the songs, Jesus. <laughs> close them, close them. This isn't good. This is not good. This is not smooth. Should not have done it this way. Oh. I'm entitled to a letter of reference. I forgot it. Flora, take a letter. To whom it may concern. Mr. Vodish has been in the employ of Matichek and Company for the last two years, during which time he has been very efficient as a stool pigeon, a troublemaker, and a rat. Now, no, and if he doesn't yeah. clear out of here, he's going to get a punch in the nose. Yours very truly, Alfred Krolik, manager of Matichek and Company. Woo, man, he went off. He really got under his skin, so, oof. I wanted to see Mr. Matichek. Uh, well, here he is. Um... I'm Mr. Matichek. Mr. Krolik, don't make any jokes. Not today. That's right, Mr. Fellish. No, Mr. Matichek won't be with us for a while. I don't own the shop yet. I'm only the manager, you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, goodbye, <laughs> Mr. Ms. Nova. Clap. Wow. Now back home you go, yeah. I, I feel more or less responsible for the whole thing. You? Yes. Well, oh, no. kind of. Yeah, well. Oh, no, I think I can relieve your mind. It wasn't your fault at all. No, there's oh. a much bigger reason. My trouble is what one might call psychological. Oh, of course, as long as it's only psychological, you want it. Only psychological. That wasn't the right thing to say. Mr. Krolik, <laughs> it's true we're in the same room, but we're not in the same planet. Damn. Adana has something for you. She has? Well, why doesn't she come in? Come in, Adana. Oh... <laughs> I hope it's good news. I'll tell you later. Go right ahead and read the letter. Don't don't worry about me. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, not at all. Hmm. 
Wonder when he's gonna tell her. <laughs> and now she's rejuvenated. <laughs> you really spoiled my date last night. See, I wasn't so wrong when I asked you not to sit at my table. Well, this gentleman did come to the cafe. He looked in the window, saw us together, and misunderstood. Tell me and be frank. I think you owe it to me. Who is this very attractive young man? He's oh, just the my type goodness. women fall for. It's not the type of man who would walk up to a table uninvited. Well, it's difficult to explain a man like him to a man like you. He's digging a very deep hole for himself. I don't know how well this is going to go. We've had a lot of trouble selling those Ochitonia boxes, haven't we? Oh, well, that doesn't make any difference. Mr. Krolik, you can consider one box definitely sold. Yes, I've just had an inspiration. I'm going to give one to my friend for Christmas. Oh, Miss Novak, now, you're taking an awful chance. Oh, yes. Why don't you give him a um, wallet? Yeah, he does not want the box. <laughs> no, just the same. I'm going to give him a cigarette box. All right. Well, oh, because if he just keeps kind of leading her on, it's just going to dig deeper, you know, dig a deeper hole for himself. Rudy. Yes, Mr. Katona. You know what time it is? A few minutes after eight. And you're still here. Well, I was just. Don't contradict me. Just listen. Yes, Mr. Katona. Oh, You have my to be God. faster, especially on a day like this. It's Christmas Eve, young man. Come on, folks. Now, let's make this the biggest Christmas Eve in the history of Matter Chicken Company. Come in, Mr. Krollick. Come in, Mr. Krollick, Now, uh, how are you today? Fine. Oh, my goodness. He has fallen hard. I wanted to buy one of those Ochichonia boxes, but Kralik tells me that you took the only one that really works. You see, I thought of giving it uh, to my wife's uncle for Christmas. I don't like him, and still I must give him a present. So I thought if I have to give him a present, at least give him something he won't enjoy. The box costs two twenty nine. That's a lot of money, but it's worth it to ruin my wife's uncle's Christmas. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder if Kralik got to him. And told him to, to, to do this. Of, uh, well, let's say maybe a, a wallet. wallet. A wallet. Mm -hmm. That's an inspiration. If I would get such a wallet, I would be one of the happiest men in the world. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Fiavich. I'll think it over. And there you go. Garlic, you get the wallet. Beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> of course. Wow. Yeah, I mean... So many people out and about for Christmas Eve, you know, it's kind of crazy because usually people are celebrating Christmas Eve. I mean, I celebrate Christmas Eve with my one side of the family and then Christmas Day with the other side. So I'm surprised that this place is super packed, but. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Big money, big money. Nine thousand six hundred fifty four and seventy five. Oh, wow. Now, no Christmas is complete without a bonus. Am I right? Hey, bonuses. Uh, here, uh, what's your name? Uh, Rudy. <laughs> Hello, Rudy. Thank you, Mr. Maricek. Uh, it's all right, Rudy. Do not. <gasps> Too much. Well, we leave the shop just. I thought he was going to take it. That would have been so mean. Have you ever been to Biro's? How about joining me and we'll break a bottle of champagne together? That's nice. Marichuk, I'd love nothing more, but... I'll, oh, you, I, you you have another engagement, huh? Uh, well, it, it's just... Uh, no, 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 shh, no, no, not another word. I just wanted to be sure that you weren't alone. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice, too. Well, now he's going to be alone. Damn. You're probably celebrating Christmas with your mother and father, am I wrong? Yes, Mr. Matichek. See that girl over there in the corner? Yeah. Well, I'm her Santa Claus. Good night, Mr. Matichek. This kid, good Lord. Like, what a life, huh? Well, now, you better not squander that money. You take it home and give it to your mother, huh? My people don't live here in town, Mr. Matichek. Is that so? Do you like chicken noodle soup? I certainly do, Mr. Matichek. And what would you think of roast goose stuffed with baked apples? Sounds wonderful. <laughs> well, you're going to have it, Rudy. Come on. Here, taxi. Oh, wow. How nice. Part of me thought he was going to be like, well, I'm going to go have that. So bye. <laughs> no, he turned a, a new leaf a little bit, huh? Do you mind if I tell you something? No, no, no. 
Well, when I first came to work here, something very strange happened to me. I found myself looking at you again and again. I just couldn't take my eyes off you. Oh. Mm -hmm. And all the time I kept saying to myself, Clara Novak, what on earth is the matter with you? This chronic is not a particularly attractive type of man. No. I hope you don't mind. No. Damn. No, 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 no. Now, here comes a paradox. I found myself falling for you. I can't oh. believe it. Yes, Mr. Crawley, and very much so. This is the setup. Now you deliver. <laughs> oh, in those first few weeks, there were moments in the stockroom when you could have swept me off my feet. Well, he's about to right now, actually. Are you going to tell her? Maybe we'll both be engaged Monday morning. I think we will. Well, well I don't want you to misunderstand me. I just said in my case, it might happen. Well, as a matter of fact, I can tell you it will happen. Here we go. You know. Well, we won't go into that. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. Anyway. He came to see me. Who? Your fiance. Oh. Yes, yes, he came last night. You shouldn't have told him who I am. Oh, my God. It's been a very uncomfortable hour. Apparently, he didn't believe it when you wrote him that I meant nothing to you. Uh, why is he doing this? Yeah, you don't have to worry. No, you, in a little while, you'll be Mrs. Popkin. Um, Mrs. Popkin? What is his angle here? <laughs> and uh, don't you try and change him now. No, don't put him on a die after. What is he doing? Is he just trying to mess with her? Uh, didn't he impress you as being rather witty? Well, he struck me as rather depressed. Well, of course, it's unfair to judge a man when he's out of a job. Oh, my God, Crowley! I could quote you passages. For instance. To love is to be two and yet one. A man, man and, and a, a woman blended as angels. Heaven itself. That's Victor Hugo. He stole that. You know, I find he was just copying words out of a book. Wow. Okay. I guess I see why he did this. Do you know what I wish would happen? When your bell rings at 8.30 and you open the door, in, instead of Popkin... I come in. No, please don't make it more difficult for me. And I'd say, Clara, darling. Oh, no, you must. Oh, dearest sweetheart, oh. Clara, I can't stand it any longer. Please take your key and open post office box 237 and take me out of my envelope and no. kiss me. Mr. Crowley, you must. <laughs> All of that just for that reveal, huh? Are you disappointed? She's going to faint again. <laughs> Psychologically, I'm very confused. Yeah, I mean, him doing that whole spiel didn't help, but really. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. Why, I called you bull-legged. Oh, well, but, yeah, and I, and I was going to prove to you that I wasn't. I was going out in the street and pull up my trousers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, would you mind very much if I asked you to pull them up now? Ah. No bull-legs here. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Wow. <laughs> Went through that whole song and dance about how he was a larger man and he was worried about, oh, she doesn't make enough money or whatever. She's going to be the breadwinner. Whatever. All of that just to reveal at the end that he was actually the person writing the letters. Oh, so extra. <laughs> I can understand to an extent as to why he wouldn't tell her that he was, you know, the letter writer and uh, the pen pal, you know, secret admirer, whatnot. But he was really dragging it out, huh? I mean, things could have been better and resolved, maybe, if he said something sooner. <laughs> and I guess by the end of it there, when he was making up that person of who was, you know, actually writing the letters and whatnot. I was wondering if he was trying to, like, save his own ass in a way of how he did delay it for so long in telling her and that he was trying to make her forget about the secret admirer love letter kind of thing so he can step in as... But he's this, actually the same person. You know what I mean? So it's just like, that was my train of thought. I was like, is he just trying to make the, the actual, like, letter writer... Uh, look bad so now that like she can pay attention to him even though she would still end up you know liking him probably clearly uh <laughs> if he just told her before a lot of mental gymnastics you know 
psychological, as I said in the movie. But this was cute. This was a very cute little fun movie, and I enjoyed watching it. Definitely did not expect Mr. Matichek to try to take his own life. That was really crazy. I'm glad that, you know, Pepe was there to save him because that would have been really bad. Insane that Mr. Matichek fired Kralik without fully knowing that it was him. I mean... He even said he was just like, oh, the jealousy, you know, eats me like a disease or whatever. And that's pretty much why he did it. But it's just like, you had a private investigator. You couldn't have waited like another day. Damn. <laughs> you started hating the man without even knowing for sure that he was the one that was after your wife. Crazy. Definitely some characters in this movie between like, you know, uh, Pirovich and, and Ferenz and, you know, even Pepe. Like they were all so, they had such big personalities. So that was a lot of fun. Pirovich was pretty funny. I mean, he was definitely kind of like the wingman of Kralik, you know, and kind of just like his BFF in a way in the shop. And it, I liked his character. He was great. And yeah, again, this was just a cute, fun story and good time. And I had no idea what to anticipate, but it was quite the tale, honestly. And once again, I really did enjoy myself. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did enjoy the reaction, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos, the access to the polls and access to other reactions that aren't yet cut for YouTube. If you wanted to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Reacts. I'm mainly over on Twitter, but I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. So yeah, again, I had no idea what to anticipate with this movie, but I really did enjoy myself overall, and it's definitely a Christmassy time movie. <laughs> again, really do hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye!